Howdy mates. Good morning. Today is Saturday, January 23rd, 2020. Hope all of you are enjoying your morning so far. So what I wanted to show you guys is this famous Adena Mound. Found at the Indian Mound Reserve that's located at Cedarville, Ohio. And <laughs> on rare occasion, I am actually wearing pants. That's such a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, when I was looking at the temperature this morning, it was literally as low as 12 degrees. So that that was where, like, okay, I should wear pants. But, yes, this is the famed Adena Mound. And according to historical record, this mound would have been built anywhere between... 500 BC to 100 AD. Yeah, the mound itself is approximately 30 to 40 feet tall. And in terms of diameter, I believe the interpretive sign said that it could have been anywhere between 80 to 100 feet. So it's quite a large mound. And What's interesting about the mound is this practically served as a burial ground or even as a lookout back in the day. So instead of having the watchtowers like we have now, this was the Adena's way of a watchtower by using a mound. You can't really find too many of these in this area of Ohio anymore. One of the other popular areas where you can see Adena Mounds is in Chillicothe, Ohio, which is actually, that is now protected as a national park. Unlike the Indian Mound Reserve, it's just a county park through the Greene County Park District. But here, it gives a bit of a dedication as to how the place was created usually the citizens are the people who are the, they're usually the individuals who help protect areas like these yeah it's also known as the Williamson Mound yeah so he must have been the individual who made sure yeah, this was protected. So actually, you know, just give me a moment. I want to show you guys another perspective of being on the mound. Give me just a second. All right, here we go. Where did I go? <laughs> so now I'm actually a bit on the high ground at the moment. Yeah, can you see that I'm not out of breath? <laughs> Yeah, here, you get to see the whole circumference. And you actually get a decent view. But yeah, beautiful day. I mean, despite how chilly it is, it at least is sunny. And that makes a difference. Yeah, I've actually uh, been here during the summer before. And... What's fascinating is this whole this whole mound essentially usually it's not really tampered with so you have an opportunity to see a little bit of a prairie on the mound and I'm sure that's what the Adena did they didn't they just let the vegetation grow they didn't really bother with it and actually, you may be wondering, like, how would this have been built? Well, since Massey's Creek runs through this area, they would have just been able to use the mud and the rock material to build this mound. So, fortunately, the resources were already provided to them. So, even back then, they knew the concept of convenience. <laughs> So, all right, just want to show you guys a quick 
view one last view and that should about wrap it up so all right hope you guys learned something and once again enjoy you the rest of your saturday and journey on a journey is out take care folks